Why is it necessary for the Christian to pray? When Adam stood in a sinless condition in the Garden of Eden, there was no need for him to pray. Adam could talk to God face to face. And he did. Isaiah 59 verses 1 and 2 said, God's hand is not short that he cannot save, or his ear heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and his sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear you. It is because of sin that prayer became necessary. Let me say it again by saying it this way. In the new world, according to Revelation 22 verse 4, and they shall see his face. We shall speak to God face to face. When you talk to your mother and you say, Mom or Daddy, I need school fees, you're not praying. Although if you, it may sound like that, but you're not praying. You're asking someone. In the new world, there will be no need for prayer. We will just talk to God face to face. No mediator, just talk to him the way I'm speaking to you. Because of sin, prayer became necessary because now we could not come right into the presence of God because he would destroy us. Sin cannot enter the presence of God. And secondly, we could not speak face to face and therefore we needed someone could represent us before the throne. So prayer is necessary because of sin. And Jesus, who took our sins, he prayed. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him over to the other side while he sent the multitude away. And when he had sent the multitude away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. The Bible tells us, Matthew 14, 22, 23, that Jesus Christ would go off by himself and would pray. John 6, when Jesus fed the 5,000, he lifted up the basket, he offered thanks, the Bible said, then he break and he distributed. At the raising of the tomb of Lazarus, when Jesus told them to remove the stone, and they removed it, he said, pray of the Father, I thank thee thou hast heard me. He prayed to his father. Then he said, Lazarus, come forth. Jesus lived a life of prayer. And if it was good enough for Christ, it has to be good enough for us. If it was necessary for Christ, sometimes he would spend all night in prayer. One of his favorite locations was the Mount of Olives where there was a garden, the Garden of Gethsemane, where of course he sweat drops of blood. He would go there and pray for hours. Prayer is essential.